All right, what's happening, everybody? It's Kong Conquest here, and I'm just going to show you where I like the souls farm, or where I used the souls farm to accumulate a bunch of souls. Uh, we'll kind of test it with the when the Scarlet Reaper shows up, but basically we want the Scarlet Reaper to show up because then we get three times the vigor amount, and killing a ghoul will at least get you 700 vigor, which is fantastic because we one-shot him. We're going to do it in the very first area where we fought Otto, because, as you can see, everything dies in one hit. Excellent. No souls will build up much higher when it's times three. And when you kill the Scarlet Reaper, I think it's ten or twenty thousand bigger. But when he spawns, I'll show you how much the amount is anyway. Just make sure you come in with a crap ton of Brio Stone trios and large mana stones. I have the large mana stones only because I have Aura Tenacity, which increases my defense. And then the Invigorating Aura, because then it heals me. And then if you stack that with a Brio Stone, you're basically invincible. So, yeah, it just makes, um, you know, you outlast basically everything that's hitting you. And you can just basically kind of chill R1, R1, R1. As long as you manage your mana meter and your health bar, you will be just, just fine. Uh, but anyways, well, I'll kind of explain. It's uh, level 125, so clearly end game farm. When you're done your first new game zero, it, which you should be fine. There's plenty of other spells and what have you that can help you out with healing and such and da 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 da. There's a hundred different ways builds to do it, but this build isn't fully optimized, but I'll show you just how, um, what do you call it? Oh, I'm losing track of words. How, uh, how well it'll do. We'll go with that. But anyways, I will fast forward to the Scarlet Reaper and we will see you there. Welcome back everybody. Well he's almost here so I think once it gets past the three quarters mark you can start getting your buffs on because he pops in fast up to this point. Then we're gonna pop this. Get rid of these guys. These Gorgoyles, I tell you. Anyways, pop a Mana Stone so that my buffs stay on. Because Mr. Scarlet Reaper will be showing up any minute now. And boom. Hello! As you can see, I'm doing a thousand for a hit. And he has a lot of health, but it doesn't matter. The damage he's doing is minuscule. Just pop a Brio Stone. That usually gets him to pop out right away. Hmm. It's pretty smart. Anyways, he's half health down already. I'm gonna pop another Mana Stone just casually. It's no big deal. Go for a charge. Hopefully, he sticks around. Yep, big damage. Getting fancy on me. Ran out of stamina there. Not used to having a build with low stamina, but it's just the way it is. And he's getting smart. Oh dear. Okay. Don't worry, he'll be dead soon. Come here, boy. Usually I kill him once my buff is still up but anyways it's an easy chunk of souls right there and you can kill these ghouls you get quite a bit I think they're almost 700 each and not too shabby gain quite a bit of souls there yeah usually more enemies spawn I thought but the last time I did this I was just crowded but anyways, it's a pretty chill farm anyway. It's a good way to get the, uh, what do you call it? Uh, you get an achievement for killing the Scarlet Reaper, and this is an excellent area to do it as well. So, yeah, I kind of thought I'd show share that with you, and hopefully it helps you out. Awesome. Take care. See you later.